We're very grateful to be here today. Thank you all for coming out to support this amazing event. Um, we are very, very grateful to be able to share the Filipino martial arts, a little bit of its history, and a little bit of uh, the cultural background, as well as some of our heroes and some of the national treasures that are important for us. Uh, just to give you a little bit of background about Escrima, Cali, or Arnis, uh, when the Spaniards came to the Philippines, they outlawed the Filipino martial arts. So for over 300 years, the, the practice and teaching of the Filipino martial arts was outlawed. Those that taught or practiced it feared death. So the fact that we have the opportunity to share it with you here in Echo Park, California, that is a testament to the brave Filipino ancestors both the warriors as well as the artists that worked hand in hand with the warriors to incorporate much of the hand movement and foot movement into traditional dances so that they were able to practice them directly in front of the conquistadores without them ever knowing. This is our tribute, this opening piece is our tribute and our thank you to those brave warrior and artist ancestors. of night, illuminated only by celestial lights raining down from the heavens, they trained in secret, ancestor by ancestor, century after century, they kept the breath and the movement alive. We stand on the shoulders of our ancestors. Their names may have been taken, but their legacy lives on. Thanks to them, Escrima was saved, and now it has traveled across the Pacific for you the descendants of the great and committed warriors and artists of the Philippines. Just as Escrima has crossed the great Pacific Ocean, so has its people. They have brought with them the traditions and artistries of the Filipino ancestors. From this rich and noble heritage, they have branched out and grown to bring the flavor and the color of the Philippines to every culture in the world. Under the cover of night, 